1987, Barney the Dinosaur was conceptualized, putting out the franchise's first video the year following. After an initial three tapes were produced, the character came to an early end, before a demand would begin to rise up. In 1990, this demand would be heard and a new set of videos would be made. We're taking things back to the year 1990 to continue the original lore of the character, Barney and the Backyard Gang. It's only make-believe. And make-believe can't hurt you. Right. What are you guys doing around here when I'm not around? I'm finna roast the hell out of this tape. Just as the last three tapes, we begin at Michael and Amy's house. And this would be the last time this would ever happen. Starting here, they'd start to change things up a bit. We'll see more of it as we move along, and I'll most definitely talk more about it as we move along. Basically, the opening doesn't make any sense anymore. The siblings are awake waiting for Santa Claus when they hear noises near the chimney. <laughs> turns out to be Barney the Dinosaur sliding down the chimney like Santa. There. Thank you. This is my first problem. It's clear that the crew didn't think at all about the show's opening theme when they got back into writing more episodes for this series. Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination. That's true. Barney is a stuffed doll. However, we don't see this happening here, being that he appears from the chimney. This would have had to imply that the dinosaur plush was in the fireplace. Why would it have been in the fireplace? Also, even Michael points out, Why didn't you come the way you always do? Like, wouldn't he just already be at the house? W where was the doll at if he wasn't just already at their house? I weren't expecting you tonight, Barney, but it's good to see you. It sure is. And it's good to see the both of you. They really try to continue the notion that Barney resides with Michael and Amy, as the opening theme still contains that lyric, but as we'll find out in future videos of this series, this is also no longer true, especially considering here that this Barney is clearly not the Barney we knew from before, even though it's heavily passed off as such. One last thing about the intro, I find it really funny that Sandy Duncan did not feel like reprising her role in this set of videos, if only because that meant that Lyons had less footage to work with for the intro, they had to cut her out, but didn't rewrite the lyric that refers to her. So because they didn't have much more stock footage to use, they used footage of the Barney from before, like the dark almost blue one, even though these two look literally nothing alike. And it's even doubly funny to me that this Barney appears right when the kids begin singing about someone who's never seen him. Barney kidnaps the rest of the backyard gang, minus Jason for some reason, and transports them to Michael and Amy's house with their parents now being out of luck when it comes to their whereabouts. I love you, you love me, we're as happy as can be with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you, won't you say you love me too? He relays that Santa Claus has given him a special job and he needs help in order to accomplish it. I love how well put together this video is with the new music they present. It feels very comfy. This is also the first video with Bob Singleton as the composer for the franchise and it was a wonderful choice bringing him in because the music is outstanding. Barney informs the kids that Santa sent him because a new kid named Derek has moved into the neighborhood and is afraid Santa doesn't know his new address. He is also worried about having no new friends in his area. And the best present he can get this Christmas is some new friends, like the five of you. Well, let's go tell him that. <laughs> okay. Using the magic words, Barney is able to transport himself and the rest of the gang into this random child's house. We go to the same school. Hi. Good. And these are my friends, Michael, mm -hmm. Amy, Adam, and Lucy. And this is our best 
bestest friend of all, <laughs> Barney. We're all members of Barney's backyard gang, and mm -hmm. we'd like you to be a member too. Can you imagine just being stuffed in a child-sized bedroom with like five other human beings and a six-foot-tall dinosaur? Good lord. I just, I, you know, it's really funny because the entire premise of this video is that there's a new backyard gang member. Like, that, that's literally the entire thing, right? Derek. And he's replacing Jason from the first three tapes. So that means that the Lions group either already knew that Salem Grant wasn't returning for this next set of videos before writing this one, or they were intending on replacing him anyways. After the kids welcome Derek to the backyard gang, he's still worried that Santa doesn't know where he lives. How could I be sure? I just talked to Santa before he left the North Pole, and he wants me to take you and your new friends to his workshop so Mrs. Claus can show you that your name is on his list. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, so Barney's just like, oh, I talked to Santa. He, he he knows where you live, dude. Don't worry about it. So why do we have to go to the North Pole now? We we just got the answer. Had you're, you're thinking too hard about this. I know Squidward. Don't worry about it. Preparing to head to the North Pole, we're introduced to the new Barney Shake, a movement with magical properties, here changing the gang into winter-appropriate attire. We're then transported to the roof of Derek's house, where we find that Barney's left a magic sleigh. Why we can teleport into the bedroom of a random child's house with magic words and not the actual North Pole is beyond me, but hey, let's, let's ride in this funny little sleigh, dude. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everybody ready? <laughs> Did the crew know that this looked scary when they filmed it? At the North Pole, we sing some songs and meet a snowman. Hello, little girl. What's your name? He's alive. <laughs> he can talk. Remember what I've told you before? When you're pretending, anything can happen. That's why you're real to us. Because we love you. <laughs> That's such a terrible line. I love that Tina, being the curious one, always eager to make a new friend, is carried over. In fact, it, it almost feels as though Tina is the only character that has any sort of real characterization. It's kind of crazy. Mrs. Claus welcomes us to Santa's workshop. The kids remove their winter gear, revealing new outfits fitted with backyard gang emblems and their respective names. If it wasn't already clear to you that the Barney costume was made of foam and literally nothing else on top of it aside from paint, does this shot say anything to you? Who, me? <laughs> <laughs> to prove to Derek that his name is on Santa's list, Mrs. Claus shows them all to a computer called the, the, the Command Center, where the lights turn ominously red for no reason as she proceeds to dox every child in the area. There he is! See? See? Where's Tina? Look, I'm an elf! I love Tina. Now we hear the famous elf rap that is very 90s and nothing else. My name's Michael and I'm looking like an elf. Only problem is I'm all by myself. Hi, I'm Amy and I'm an elf too. I've got to work up fast because there's so much to do. But just as I said earlier, the music in this special is phenomenal. So regardless of how cheesy this is, it's unbelievably wholesome. Last comes in, our game's complete. I feel just like enough from my head to my feet. <laughs> Something is wrong with Tina's doll, so they each do their part to help fixing it. Look at Tina being adorable and actually having a character. Thank you, Mrs. Claus. That was great. I wonder what Santa will bring me. Oh. <laughs> why, why, all, why, why is that funny? What, what was funny about that? Guys! Wanting to be home before Santa comes, they all hurry to change back into their winter outfits to board the sleigh one last time. With great Christmas cheer, may the weather be clear, and your friends always near. Now let's be on our way as we fly in the sleigh. Is that Santa? This is too long, I fear. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The music is so good, man. I like, like, legit. It's so good. Oh, Derek, 
the holes with bowels of bowling. This is even scarier than the first time. The backyard gang says their farewell to Derek, who can go home now knowing he's part of something bigger, knows how to play pretend, and has new friends. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. I know that Derek will. I sure will, because now I've got some new friends. They're each sent back to their respective homes, and we join Barney, Michael, and Amy back inside the house. They each decide to wait for Santa by reading a story. Barney sits down, what a weird, whatever, and as they fall asleep, Santa comes, leaving dollar store presents under the tree. One final saying, we bring this outing to a close. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. Barney's Waiting for Santa was the best-selling Barney home video ever for a long time. Which is crazy to me, just to think that the best-selling Barney tape was not only from Barney and the Backyard Gang, but it was the one that had some of the scariest, most unsettling looking shots in the entire franchise. My issues with the tape are ones that carry for the tapes that follow this, and mainly deal with the continuity and inconsistencies this new set of videos brought about. But aside from that, Waiting for Santa is charming. It does exactly what it sets out to, and is an enjoyable experience. The music is wonderful, the cast are as amazing as ever, and again, it's just super charming and wholesome. The Lions group knew they had something special on their hands, and in 1990, they were only just beginning. Thank you to Nerdy Disney, Megley, Common J, Junior the Hedgehog, Emilia, Cameron, and Alicia for supporting the stage. 